Let us pray. Everlasting Father King of Glory, thank you for today. Thank you for your guidance, protection, healings, and deliverances, all through the day. Thank you for your provisions and care. Thank you for the day's bread. Thank you for all you have done unto us today. Dear Heavenly Father, now that it is time I retired to bed for sleep, I pray you dear Heavenly Father, watch over my life and all that you have committed into my care. For you are the owner of my life and I am only but a steward unto all that you have given me. For in your word of John 3 verse 27, the Bible says, John answered and said, A man can receive nothing, except it be given him from heaven. Therefore dear Father Lord, all I have got are from you, they are and thou giveth them to me. Therefore dear Lord, protect and preserve me in them, in the name of Jesus Christ. For on you I depend upon for protection, provisions, healing, and deliverance. Therefore, dear Lord, watch over me both when I am asleep and when I am awake. In accordance with your word of Psalms 121 verse 4, which says, Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Send your angels dear Lord to protect, guard, and guide me and my household in accordance with your word of Psalms 91 11 which says, that you shall give your angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. Go before me also dear Lord tonight to level and destroy every evil plots and machinations of the enemies against me. Let me wake up tomorrow to discover that the evil acts and imaginations of the enemies against me have been destroyed. Dear Lord in accordance with your word of Isaiah chapter 45 verse 1, which says, Thus saith the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holden, to subdue nations before him, and I will loose the loins of kings, to open before him the two-leaved gates, and the gates shall not be shut. Dear Father you said, I will go before thee, and make the crooked places straight, I will break in pieces the gates of brass, and cut in sunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness, and hidden riches of secret places, that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. Dear Father Lord, send your angels ahead of me tonight, to destroy the plots and programming of the devil and to straighten my path for easy and struggle-free success. In the name of Jesus Christ, so that it shall be unto me after the order of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 7 that says, The Lord shall cause thine enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face, they shall come out against thee one way, and flee before thee seven ways. Father let it be unto me like in the case of Job whom you put a hedge on all of his belongings. Dear Lord put a hedge over all that you have blessed me with, so that no enemy can penetrate to steal, kill or destroy any of them. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Let every enchantment, conspiracy, and manipulation against me be counteracted and cancelled, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every counsel against me be turned into foolishness, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let it be unto me after the order of Isaiah chapter 54 from verses 13 to 17, which says, And all thy children shall be taught of the Lord, and great shall be the peace of thy children. In righteousness shalt thou be established, thou shalt be far from oppression, for thou shalt not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near thee. Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me, whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Dear Father Lord, you know that my trust and confidence are in your blessed promises. And your words have been my strength and my confidence. Therefore dear Lord, guard and protect me according to your word, let it be unto me after your word of Psalms 91 1-16. Which says that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Dear Father Lord, as I retire to bed tonight, let me dwell in your secret place, your place of safety and divine security, be my impregnable rock. And as your word says in Psalms 91 verse 2, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, 
in him will I trust. Dear Father Lord, I declare that you are my refuge and fortress tonight and beyond, and on you is my trust for protection, healing, deliverances, care and providences. And also as your word says in Psalms 91 verse 3. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence. Dear Lord, deliver my soul from the snare and all evils of the night times, from the noisome pestilence and the evil forces that operate and thrive at night and in darkness. Dear Lord, cover me with your feathers after the order of your word of Psalms 91 verse 4, which says, He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust, his truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Dear Heavenly Father, you know your truth has been my hope, trust, and confidence, therefore dear Lord, be my shield and my buckler. Let me not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Even if a thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, let it never come nigh me. Let me only see them with my eyes or hear about them with my ears but let all evils be far from me. Just as your word says in Psalms 91 verse 8. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Dear Lord, because I have made you Lord, which is my refuge, even you the most high my habitation. Let no evil befall me nor any plague come nigh my dwelling. Give dear Lord your angels charge over me, to keep and to protect me in all my ways. Let them bear me up in their hands, lest I dash my foot against a stone. Even if I tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon, let nothing be able to hurt or harm me. Lord, because I hath set my love upon you, therefore deliver me and set him on high, because I hath known you as my deliverer, my healer, my provider, my shield and my buckler. Whenever I call upon you dear, be quick to answer me, and come to my rescue. Deliver me and honor me with long life and satisfy me and show me your salvation. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray also that you send your angels of revelation to come to me Father, as I go to bed with revelations on what I should be doing and how I should be doing it. And help me dear Lord to remember and recollect what they will teach me. For your word says in Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant which he soiree unto thy fathers, as it is this day. Dear Father Lord, send your angels to come and teach me in a dream and in vision tonight how to make wealth in accordance with your covenant and blessed promises. You said in Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things, which thou knowest not. Dear Father Lord I call upon you, answer me, show me great and mighty things that will make me a huge success in life, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let me wake up tomorrow inspired with fresh ideas for success and breakthroughs. Let me wake up more fit and healthy than as I am now going to bed. Let me wake up bubbling with new health and fresh ideas and wisdom on the best way to excel and make headway in life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Lord, disappoint those who are wishing me evil. For your word says in Proverbs chapter 10 verse 24, The fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. To their disappointment dear Lord, grant me my desire to know you more and more and to love and serve you wholeheartedly, in the name of Jesus Christ. Teach my ear to hear your word of guidance and instructions at all times. Dear Lord, I pray too for all my listeners, those who have been going through challenges in their life day and night. Father Lord, rescue them from this hour. Cause them from henceforth to enjoy sound sleep and complete rest in their sleep. I bind every incubus, succubus and any evil spirit that has been coming to harass people at night. I decree freedom and liberation to everyone under any form of bondage and nocturnal attacks. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those that are sick dear Lord, let them wake up hale and hearty, in the name of Jesus Christ. Due to my good friends, well-wishers, and all my listeners for all that I have asked of you here and now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can you follow me to say Amen? Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video. 
it will help the video to reach more people. Are you new here? Subscribe, and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.